Hi everybody, Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist with Z Natural Foods. Today's video is going to be about the most commonly asked questions or frequently asked questions we get here at Z Natural Foods. So I'm just going to go right into it and we're going to begin. Um, the first most common question is, is in regards to why, why is it from batch to batch, with many of our superfood powders, you're going to see a difference in the color, the taste, and sometimes even the texture, okay? This is a very, very simple thing to understand, but for some reason, this seems to be something that's very much blown out of proportion, and a lot of people seem to equate the color, taste, and texture with the quality of the product. And the truth is, they're two completely, completely separate things, and one has little to no association with the other. I believe very strongly the biggest reason why most people seem very confused about this is because the average American and the average American diet is made up of what I like to call fake foods. So when you eat those fake foods because they're so rich in nourishing things like artificial colors and artificial sweeteners, you know, there's nothing like a big bowl of Blue Lake 14. I mean, that's really nourishing. You know what I mean? So when you look at the big picture, like I had mentioned in several other videos, especially when I was talking about adaptogens, how when, we, when the average American drinks so much caffeine, it's altered that person's ability to understand what a healthy response is. Well here, this is the same exact thing. Most people eat so much what I call fake food that they're used to that food looking exactly the same every single time that they buy it or order it because it's been so chemically altered or it's been so artificially flavored or sweetened that that is what most people consider the most common thing or the average. Here is what the truth is when it comes to superfoods and herb food powders. I'm going to begin with specifically discussing the whole food powders, whether it's the fruit, the herb, or the leaf, or the grass. And then I'm going to go into extract and juice powders. The more common foods that you're going to see with a difference in color, taste, and texture from batch to batch is in fact the whole food powders versus the extract of the juice powders. And the biggest reason for that is because it has gone through little to no processing, okay? Um, the biggest thing that people need to keep in mind is that every batch, Mother Nature produces something different. And it's based on the soil and the season. And the reason why this makes all the difference in the world, for the most part, is because when you're dealing with season to season uh, and different soil textures, it's going to produce a completely different end product. So is it better or is it worse? It's neither. It's just simply different. And the reason why you'll see a different color, a different taste, and a different texture more than any other reason is because what that soil is producing in terms of nutrients and phytochemicals for that food is going to be what produces that end result product. So during the spring when everything is more lively and, and there's more water in the atmosphere and there's more mist and dew on the food itself, you're going to see a much more uh, vibrant color. You're going to see a greater consistency. You might even have a greater flavor or taste that's not as bitter. Because during, for example, the winter time, especially when you're dealing, just as an example, with like grass powders, and alfalfa is a great example. During the, the, the winter season, you're often going to see what you might consider a little bit more of a bitter, dark, uh, greenish brown color and taste. Again, the only reason for that difference is because you're producing a food with a different phytochemical balance to it. Okay, there's still the same phytochemicals, but because you may not have as much sun or because the water consistency might be a little bit different based on the nature and based on what nature is providing to us, 
you're ultimately going to get that different end result product. Now, when you're dealing with extract and juice powders, more times than not, what you're going to end up seeing is a little bit more consistency. And the reason is because ultimately you have a very similar process of doing the juicing or the extracting each and every time. So if the process is going to be the same, 99% of the time you're going to see the same end result product. The one thing that may change it a little bit is, again, the product that you begin with. So for example, we'll take alfalfa or we'll take, you can really take any food, but ultimately I'm going to use alfalfa as a great example. When you have, when you start with the alfalfa leaf from the springtime and you juice it, you're going to get a much brighter green. When you start with the winter alfalfa, end result is going to be not as bright but it's not but in other words you're always going to see the consistency of the end result product so ultimately what we're dealing with here is that you have different product as an end result because the beginning raw material that's been grown and harvested is starting different it's not good it's not bad it's simply just different I will also I will end this one I will end this video with with reminding the consumer of Z Natural Food or just wherever you purchase your products. I want everyone to keep something in mind. When you're dealing with a whole food powder specifically, if every single batch looks exactly the same, that is what you should be questioning because more times than not, that company may or may not be adding more things to the item to look more consistent to the customer. So I'll remind you folks, consistency of the look, taste, and texture is not a guide of how you judge its quality and its nutrient density. Okay guys, I hope that this has really helped you out and I hope that this has uh, helped to clear up any confusion that you might have had uh, when it comes to why batch to batch you're going to see a different end result product, especially when it goes through a minimal amount of processing and nothing is added to majority of the items. Okay? Z Natural Foods, Mike Stucci, your master herbalist. I'll see you next time.